Hi guys, it's Otto here and today we're going to discuss home control system and the choice of motors. Um, because what we see is that um, a lot of I.O. motors are being pushed, which are radio remote control motors by Somfy. Um, but you might not always need those. And um, as manufacturer, including these motors as standard when you ask for remote control, um, it's something you want to address and in general to discuss what the right choice is depending on your control system. In general, we, we look at the control systems and, uh, and, and, and categorize them in three different categories just because that's easy for us when we look at the motors. Um, first is uh, first category is, is the ones where you have um, some sort of radio communication that's possible between the motors uh, and the control system. Um, the other one is, um, is where the control system has their own modules, so where you have a shade, shutter or any other module that's uh, specific to control one um, roller shutter motor for example. And the third one is Somfy's own system, um, which is the home iconic zoom. Now let's look at the first category where you do have some sort of radio control. Uh, Homey is a system for example, but there are many more, um, which can, uh, can have uh, a radio signal out to control the motor. And the right motor for those, uh, for those um, systems is an RTS motor. So that's a motor that's controlled with a remote control such as this one. I have an example here for a roller shutter, but you can have roller shades as well or blinds um, that have similar motors. But the most important thing to remember is that it's RTS, uh, which stands for Radio Technology Somfy. Um, the reason why those are best for those systems is that you can have an easy integration with the control system. All you need is the motor itself and the remote control. You use the remote control to set the end limits pair the remote control and then you can use the remote control um, uh, to pair the control system. So basically what happens is that the control system will copy the signal from the remote control and the motor then will listen to both. Um, which then means that you can use the remote control as a backup or as a local, um, local uh, control um, and you have the, uh, the overall control system for the automation part of it. So once again, to repeat, if you have a control system that handles RTS signals, the best fit motor is, uh, is an RTS motor. Um, for blinds and shades, that's uh, for example the Sones RTS. For shutters, it can be the Oximo RTS, Altus RTS. So those are the right choices when you have a, a system that can handle radio signals. Now if you have a system that handles, um, that has their own um, control modules, um, then the best option is actually a wired motor. Um, so when you get a quotation for your new blind shades or whatever, then uh, for something you need WT motors, which stand for wired technology, and then you will use um, the module from your control system to control um, the motor itself, so to give the up, down or stop command. So again, um, for those systems you use your own modules and you use a WT uh, or um, any other wired motor which comes with a basic plug like this or switch control. So th those are the motors that you can use um, for those systems. Now for the third system um, where you don't, well, if you just want, uh, I have to put it this way, if you just want um, app control for example and you're not really worried about all the rest of the integrations um, and you just want an easy way to control your shutters or shades, um, then IO is a good option. Um, Main reason for that is that it's an easy integration. Again, you need to have a remote control, pair the remote control and set the end limits, and then you um, use the remote control to pair it with either Tahoma or the Connexoon. And the main benefit of using an I.O. motor and such a system is that you can have some feedback. So the motor can actually feed some information back to the control system. So for example, in the case of a roller shutter, it can send a signal back if it's frozen shut, for example, and won't move. Um, and then you can check in the app that that's, uh, that's actually happened. And that's not possible with both other motors. So for RTS motors and the wired motors, that's just not an option. Now there are some hybrid solutions as well, where you, for example, use a dry contact transmitter or you use a module from RFXCOM uh, to, to basically create an, uh, an RTS signal. So if you have more questions about control systems and which motors to use, let me know. Um, I, hope you, I hope you've learned something from, from this video with regards to which motors to choose. Um, and don't, the most important point is don't just go for the standard options. Make sure that you actually know 
what mode are you getting when the remote control is indicated on uh, on the code, for example? Um, make sure you know exactly what's in the in the in the, in the shade shutter awning or whatever you want to purchase for your home, um, so that you um, you are 100% sure that it will be compatible with the control system that you have, because there's nothing more annoying than having uh, double systems just to control shades and and the other one to control your audio and other parts in the house. So if there's one thing you need to uh, uh, take home from this video is that make sure that you check and know exactly what you're getting so you can check compatibility in advance and not afterwards when everything's installed um, and again if uh, if there are any um, questions that you still have or you have a system where you don't know sh for sure whether it sends out an RTS signal or you have a more complicated integration that you want to realize let me know um, you can even leave a comment to the video uh, but the best thing is, uh, is actually to, to send me an email or you can also give me a call the numbers listed below so let me know and um, hope to see you in the next video thank you